morning fourth graders so today for language we are working on the vocabulary goal of I can use meanings of Latin roots and prefixes and suffixes to help me understand the meaning of a word now a lot of you guys are experts on this already we practiced this quite a bit before we left school um, if you can remember how I had those superhero posters posted all over the room. And for those of you that came to reading night, um, we did a little activity with these root words. So some of this lesson might be a review for you, but it's a good review. All right, so when we have a word like reject or project, in this word, remember, sometimes we look for um, clues inside of a word to help us understand the meaning. We look to see if there are prefixes or suffixes or word parts, like roots, that we know. So a prefix, I've circled in green, a prefix is a word part at the beginning of the word. Here we have re and pro. Suffixes are word parts at the end of the word. Now these two example words don't have any suffixes, but a suffix might be as simple as an ed or an ing. You could say rejected or projecting. And a root word is this underlined part. It's sort of like a base word. The difference is do you remember last week we looked at words and a base word is like a complete word that is hidden inside of a word? For example, a, the base word of effective was effect. Effect is a word all by itself. Okay, for root words, ject all by itself isn't a word. But I know that any word that has ject in it is related because ject means to throw. So, looking at those clues inside of the word. Reject, re means to do it again or to put back. So to reject means like to throw out. To project means that I put that idea forward. Or I, um, like if, if you have a projector, a projector would be a machine that throws forward a picture. Here's the same vocabulary strategy that we focused on last week, and I put it up there as a reminder. When you have an unknown word, like reject or project, notice that it's tricky. Look for clues. And this week, we are either highlighting or we are circling the prefix and underlining um, the, the root. And then you use those clues to guess the meaning of the word and check if that meaning makes sense. Okay, so here's what you're going to do today. There are two assignments. You'll see it says student assignment one and student assignment two. So for student assignment one, the directions say read each word, highlight the prefix green. So if I'm over here, there's this tool that says markup. And then I go to box highlighter. Highlight the prefix green. So you know what I'm going to do right here in those directions? I'm going to highlight the prefix green so I can remember. So I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to find all the prefixes first. Okay. Ejected. Why is eject? So anything that comes before that must be a prefix. Objected. Prefix. I'm not going to do the rest for you. Okay, then it says highlight the suffix orange. So I'm going to go over here and change my tool. Oh man, there's not an orange. Well, just use red then. That's fine. 
more colors. Ooh, there is orange. And I'm going to get orange. The suffix orange. Okay. I know ject is the root, so anything after the root is a suffix. Objected. I'm sorry, ejected. Objected. Okay. And this says highlight the root word purple. Here's a fun purple color. The root word is purple. Ject. Ject. All of these root words are the same. Perfect. So you're going to do that for one through five. I'm not going to do all the work for you. I'm going to let you do some of that. And that will be one grade that I give feedback on. Okay? Down here, oh, look at this word box. Hey, those words look familiar. Ejected, objected, projector, reject inject it. The directions say to read each sentence. Decide which word from the word box could be used in place of some of the words in the sentence. Type the word that fits with each sentence you hear. I have an example for you. Here's the example. We watched a movie using a machine that threw the images forward on the screen. And I already highlighted the words in the sentence for you. You're welcome. So what is a machine that throws the images forward? So I know forward and I know throw. Throw is jacked always, but forward. If you need help um, figuring out the meanings of some of these prefixes, down here, if you scroll down here, I've uh, inserted some charts for you. So here are some roots. The only root that we're working on today is ject, which isn't on here. But you know what it means. It means to throw. You can look down here for some uh, prefixes and some suffixes um, and see if you can find what you need down here. It might be on there. It might not. So if you can't figure one out, I would leave it. Figure out all the ones that you can first, and then see what's left. Um, and then if you need to use like an online dictionary, you've got the Google, and you could look up some of these words to help you with those meanings as well. But first, try to figure them out by looking at the prefixes and the roots and determine the meaning that way. Okay, so you're going to mark this up and then when you're finished you're going to turn in, turn in the assignment and then just like last week I'll give you feedback on it. So this assignment, student assignment one and student assignment two. If you have any questions at all, Tuesday and Thursday, I can meet with you from 1 to 3. Just send me a little message right from the assignment and say, I need help, and I'll set you up with an appointment time to meet with me. All right. Good luck, guys. I know you can do it. Have a good week. I'll see you on Friday or before. Bye.